Hello everybody. I'm here at the ashram, totally relaxed and in anand with myself, <clears throat> doing my daily chores, serving humanity as my larger self. Of course, everybody serves humanity as their larger self, each one according to their own capacity. My work is laid out by the Divine Masters, by Shiv Goraksha Babaji, Shivapath, Pranapath and Shaktipath. And breathing through the Kriya breath of all my disciples all over the world. I will not overstep my mark and do what I am not supposed to do. You also should obey your own Sadhguru and you have your service to humanity as your larger self. The Hamsa Sevaks can do the Earth Peace Meditation which you will be doing, which we are all doing collectively in your own good time. Then we have the Hamsacharyas who can do the teachings of the Surya along with the Sevaks who distribute the pamphlets and the Hamsacharyas will teach the Surya and Kriya Yoga. Then we have the Kriyacharyas who teach the Surya, the Kriya Yoga, the Jyoti Mudra and all that is laid down for you. If you do that sincerely, you are serving humanity as your larger self. So each word is laid out in accordance and obedience with the chain of command. Whatever is the loving command given by from superiors to the peers. Anyway, getting down to normal things of every day. I'm here doing my physical daily chores. I get up in the morning. As soon as I get up, I'm gone. My state of Samadhi is also unknown to me. It is very peaceful because when I sleep in the night, I'm always at the astral sphere. In my own humble way, trying to serve people, alleviate their pain, alleviate their fear. You know, trying to help them, coax them, guard them and guide them to the extent that I have been permitted by the Lord God, Om Namah Shivai and Shiv Goraksha Babaji. I will not overstep my mark. So when I do that in the night, I'm working. But when I get up in the morning, I go from the state of Savikalp Samadhi, which is a work state, to the state of Nirvikalp Samadhi, which is the state of pure awareness. So in the waking state, as soon as I get up, I get out of my bed, I see the rising sun, no washing face, nothing, nothing. Just go out, inhale Lord Shiva and the Aditya Hridayam, sit down and I'm gone. In my state, my ecstasy of expanded awareness, that is the most blissful way to start the day. Then after that I come and all and some people say it's good to drink warm water, tepid water, I have some tepid water. And uh, after I finished my meditation, of course, and then I skip my morning meals. So I have usually, I get about 16 hours of fasting. Then I could be have lunch directly. After lunch, I sit down for the news. And after some time, I used to usually go out see the carpenter, try my hand at carpentry, try to do some hobnobbing, then go to the mason, build the road that goes up to the temple, you know, the road that goes from the small mandal to the temple. Uh, we try fixing in the those tiles. What do you call it? Those blocks or tiles. What are they called? Tiles. We tried fixing them and we repaired the road. The pathway to the Mercury Shivling. I used to do that. In the afternoon, I do it in the morning after my meditation. And uh, masonry, of course, I watch the fellow. I tried a few shots at it, but not too good it is. 
although I'm a mason, but this I, I must know the basic masonry starting from the groundwork, you see, to the building up of the temple of the Lord, which is your own body, to resurrecting your divine being, your astral being, and your physical being into God's light. That's masonry. A lot to learn in these simple things of life. But then we play with the children. They, we have our the people who are working here at the ashram. And they have lots of little children. Some of them are Adivasis. So we, we ask them how to make the bow and arrow, how to make the, uh, the Adivasi style of cooking. Very interesting stuff. Then in the evening at 4 or 5 o'clock, I swim. The pool is all there for me. And uh, I don't know if you can see it on TV or this thing. My hair is a little blue due to the excess of chlorine and copper which is put in the pool. But I go and clean the, the leaves which have sunk to the bottom of the pool. That's my work. I'm the pool cleaner. So I do that and after a swim I come back. And of course, the work for meditation, for earth peace healing, through self peace healing is done in the nights and in the early mornings during my meditation. And that's how the day goes, that's the order of the day. And Shivangani is there, always full of life. And we have a lot to do. We are still praying. I always remember that saying, not a single leaf can fall without the permission of the Lord. The rest you can reason out why this virus has come in such a big way and why we are handling it in a controlled way because it is a karmic waft and weft. It's like a mini, mini pralai which is taking place and takes the physical bodies of those souls away so that those souls can go and inhabit higher and better bodies for a better chance of life. Because you are immortal. Nothing can touch you. The fire cannot burn you. The breeze cannot dry you. The water cannot wet you. You are the lightless light, the immortal soul. Alak niranjan. Nainam chandati shastrani. Nainam dehati pavaka. Na kledeyanti apa. This is what it means. So if you are the immortal soul, always keep identifying yourself with the immortal spirit which lies at the core of your being rather than your perishable body. Respect your body. It is a vehicle for the expression of the spirit within. And be humble. First pray to the Sadhguru, to Babaji and to Shiva. And say, make me humble, O Lord. And when I do the earth peace healing, to get rid of this, this virus which is, with which we are all beset, you come and do it through me. And then, never mind if your ego comes and doesn't come. First, dedicate it to the Lord, Shiv Goraksha Babaji. And then when I say, Om, three times. And the fourth time I say, look up, become the sun and blast blasted with your full power because you've already dedicated your earth peace healing to Shiv Goraksha Babaji and the ego cannot come in the way. Shiv Goraksha Arpanamastu. That is the technique. And then with your full ego you can do blast. Ah. <clears throat> you can do that. That's the way you dedicate all your actions. Then the ego will not interfere. It will be transformed into his power, not your power. That's the technique of doing the earth peace healing, through self peace healing. And I am accessible through your breath, but the best thing to do is earth peace healing through self peace healing. So do a little bit of the Kriya before you practice the earth peace healing through self peace healing with the Omkar technique. The one with the closed mouth and the one with the explosive open mouth. I suppose that's what everybody is doing. And with this, I end this satsang with you guys. I'm in touch with you. Don't forget, physically, emotionally, mentally, in intuitionally, the answer lies within. I am the breath of your breath, the light of your light. And so are you, the breath of my breath and the light of my light. We are all one. God bless and Godspeed. Om Anandam Anandakara Prasannam 
ज्ञानस्वरूपम निजबोध रूपम योगेन्द्र मिडियम भवरोग्य वैद्यम श्रीमद्गुरु नित्यम अहम भजा